Hello everyone, and today we have double radical. And basically, if we have a minus b squared, that is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, right? And the a and b can be any number. It can even be a squared of a number. So now, from here, we can break this apart and this. Into 7 plus 2 times square root of 7 times square root of 3 plus 3. So this is going to be square root of 7 squared plus 2 times square root of 7 times square root of 3 plus square root of 3 squared. Right? And from this, you guys can find that this is equal to square root of square root of 7 plus square root of 3. Oh. And there's also one more equation that looks like this. And we just use the one that has this. And now this, right, the root and the square can cancel out, leaving the answer as square root of 7 plus square root of 3. So this was equal to square root of 7 plus square root of 3. Now we will solve this now, this 4 is equal to square root of 16 and times 3, which is equal to 48. So, we originally had this so now we have this, but you see from the perfect squares, there's a 2 in front of it, and we don't. So let's just force it. Let's force and put out the 2 outside. And we can do that by square root of 4 times square root of 12, because if we multiply that, we get 48. And this is equal to 2 times square root of 12. So this is going to be 7 plus 2 times square root of 12. And from here, we can have it like this, right? So I just split the 7 into 4 and 3, and I rooted it and squared it like this. And now this is going to be square root of 4 plus square root of 3 squared and root and and now this can be cancelled out leaving this which is going to be square root of 4 plus 3 but that is equal to 2 plus square root of 3 now onto this question problem again we don't have the 4 so let's just force it to have the 2 in front you can do that by doing this because 4 times 6 is 24 and we have the square root this is going to be root of 5 minus 2 times 6 and the 5 I will break it apart into 3 and 2. So we have the 3 
minus 2 times square root of 6 plus 2 root and squared root and squared right so this now can be equal to square root of 3 minus square root of 2 squared and we have the root it's a minus because you know of this and now this it can be cancelled out and have the answer as this okay now this now um to solve this question we can't make it have the two up here even if we force it so that's why I'm going to divide 2 and multiply 2 on the top as if, if I didn't do anything right and now I think you guys can see a little bit of um, pattern and that is equal to the 8 I will break it apart into 5 plus 3 so it is 5 minus 2 times square root of 15 plus 3 over 2 I'm going to root this, root this, and square it, as if, if I didn't do anything. The plus is outside. Right. And now, we have the root. And this can simplify into square root of 5 minus square root of 3 squared over 2 and root. And this is equal to square root of 5 minus square root of 3 over square root of 2. Um, we can simplify this out if you really want it to be this way. So the answer is either that or that, but I think most teachers would prefer it to be this way. this we want the 2 up here but we have 3 so let's just put the 3 back in here and pull out the 2 so the 3 is actually is equal to square root of 9 times square root of 12 is equal to square root of 108 and now like I said, we want to pull out the 4 because square root of 4 is 2. So 108 divided by 4 is 27. So we have square root of 4 times square root of 27. Those are both equal to this and this. They're the same thing, but the numbers are just changed. Now we have this. Again, a little bit of pattern that the 12, I will break it apart into 9 plus 3, because 9 times 3 is equal to 27. Okay, like this. Right, and now, from here, we have this squared in root, and this simplifies to square root of 9 plus square root of 3, but really, this is just equal to 3 plus square root of 3. Three plus square root of 3. Now onto the last question. Again, we want the 2 in here because of this. We have the 3, so let's just put this thing back into here. 3 is equal to square root of 9 times square root of 5 is equal to square root of 45. 7 minus square root of 45. We want to pull out the 4, but we don't, but we can't because we get a fraction. So let's just divide it by 2 and multiply the 2 on the uh, numerator. See? Now this way, we can change the 14 into 9 plus 5. Right? And now that would be 9 minus square root of 9 times square root of 5 plus 5. And the 9 is just the square, I mean, cube, 
uh, at root and cube, root and cube. And we have the divided by 2 also as well. Okay. Now, on the numerator, it is square root of 9 minus square root of 5 squared over to root. And this is equal to square root of 9 minus square root of 5 over square root of 2. But again, most teachers would want you to have it not root on the denominator. So we have this as the answer, but mostly this can change into that square root of 9 times square root of 2, so that's just equal to 3 times square root of 2 minus square root of 10 over 2. So, so this answer is better answer than this and this.